Hey folks, this is Quabano with OpenMV, and today I'm going to be showing off a new feature that we're about to release for the OpenMV Cam. Uh, this is a um, new library called the uh, OpenMV Cam Remote Procedure, uh, Remote Procedure Call Library. Uh, basically, it allows you to execute remote um, functions on your OpenMV Cam. Uh, the benefit of this library is it really is going to provide a uh, cohesive way for you to control the OpenMV Cam from any system. Uh, so this library allows you to control and command your OpenMV Cam over I squared C, over SPY, over uh, UART, and over CAN, and also over USB VCP and over Wi-Fi. So pretty much every interface that we have for the OpenMV Cam. And it's not a slow protocol either. So for I squared C, you can hit one megabit a second. For SPY, you can hit 20 to 40 to 80 megabits a second, depending on how close the device is. Um, for UART, you can hit up to 7.5 megabits a second, and for uh, CAN, you can do 1 megabit a second, and then Wi-Fi, we're up in the 10 megabit range actually right now, and um, USB VCP will also be in the 12 megabit range. Um, anyway, so what does this protocol do? Uh, so basically, we have a library uh, called the RPC library, um, and it'll be a Python module that's directly on board your OpenMV Cam. And so, for example, when you want to connect and control a device, you would just do something like uh, rpc.wifi or ethernet master, and then you give it an IP address of a camera to talk to. And this is a, um, we wrote this library both for the OpenMV cam and for the desktop computer right now. Um, we will also have a library for the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino, which will um, be for generic uh, IO pin control like uh, like SPY, I squared C, and um, you know, async UART. Um, the script we have for the computer though is for Wi-Fi and USB VCP control. So um, anything that's uh, any Linux or Windows base, any Linux, Windows, or Mac based system can run it, um, since it's just Python. Um, anyway, so once you have uh, one of these uh, RPC devices, this interfaces, um, this all encapsulates a pretty large protocol system that will take care of uh, doing remote procedure calls to the camera and getting responses back. And the camera will also run at the same kind of RPC library. Um, yeah, cool. So uh, moving forward, um, what does this look like? So basically the RPC um, method works really simply. Um, once you've established the interface, you just call, you just do interface.call, you give it a index number, which is um, gonna be the same index as one on the OpenMB cam and you give it a argument, which is actually a generic byte struct, so you can pass literally anything up to four gigabytes. Um, you don't actually want to pass that much data, but you, it's pretty much unlimited. And um, the camera will then receive that data in another function callback. It'll be able to execute, do something, and then it will return the, that data again. Um, it'll return some uh, result, which is also a generic um, byte struct. Um, and then once you have that, you can choose to do something and act on it or not. Uh, additionally, for uh, high-speed video transmission, we added a stream module, which um, allows you to set up a streamer device and a reader device so that you can receive frames back to back. Um, and so for this example, we've set up the camera to do um, RPC image transfer in JPEG format, um, streaming from the OpenMV cam to the computer. Um, and so this is going to be over TCP. And um, as you can see, the frame rate is pretty high and we're able to see the image clearly and things are moving. Um, and so the RPC server um, is running on the OpenMV cam and then the computer is a uh, slave device. So we can always kill that anytime we want and we can switch the resolution. So let's say we want to do something like VGA. So we can switch over, hit that up, and now we have VGA image transfer from the OpenMV cam. Um, wait, excuse me. Save the script first, then we can run it. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we've got VGA image transfer. So VGA obviously goes a lot slower, about fourth the speed, because now we're transferring a much larger image, um, but it's higher quality. Really cool. Um, this also is slower because um, we don't actually have RAM to store a VGA image um, RGB 565 on the camera. So what we do is we switch to Bayer internally, and then we just JPEG compress that Bayer image. but um, on board with and do all the image debayering and everything, so it's a lot uh, slower to run. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, so this is this is streaming over Wi-Fi, and you can also do the same script to stream over uh, USB VCP if you feel like it. Um, 
And this script also does, this script does two things. Remember, um, remember this script does two things, which is um, you have access, the ability to do um, remote procedure calls to the OpenMV cam, and then it also streams. Um, so what does the remote procedure call look like to the OpenMV cam? So here we have OpenMV IDE. Uh, and basically when that function interface.call is launched, um, that's going to uh, basically call this function on the OpenMV cam. The way that gets set up is the OpenMV cam is a similar interface. Um, you call this method called loop, which starts doing processing. Um, before you call that, though, you register a few callbacks with uh, the same ID as, this, uh, as these two scripts. You have the same um, ID in both of them. And then when um, the interface library gets a response, gets a message, it will execute that callback. And so this callback takes in that string right here, splits it, decodes that byte string, and then you can use the eval method to actually execute what this is as uh, Python code on board the OpenMV cam. And then once you do that, you can set up your, uh, you know, PIX format and frame size, and then we're able to schedule a callback afterwards. Um, that's outside of the RPC control loop, um, because typically this this callback has to finish executing before this function returns. Um, but what you can do in our RPC library is schedule a callback that executes after um, this function returns on success only. If it fails, it won't um, it won't execute it. But then when that function executes, it starts up a uh, image streamer which uh, is the stream writer object. And so the stream writer object will uh, call this generator function, which is, um, sorry, these aren't really like generator functions in Python, but it's similar. It'll call this stream generator callback repeatedly, which basically produces image snapshots. And it'll send that out to the computer with a, uh, out of, with a queue depth of uh, about eight images outstanding before they have to be acknowledged. Um, so we designed this in a, in a way where the computer won't get overloaded if it's not responding to images. Um, it'll have about eight that are buffered in the uh, TCP layer outstanding before it'll slow down and wait for the computer to catch up. So it doesn't overload your computer or anything. Um, anyway, and so yeah, here's the result. And so from your perspective, you write a very little amount of code. We've taken care of all of the data transport handling and everything for you. And um, again, it works over um, not just uh, Wi-Fi and USB, but you can also technically do this over UART which is just regular async serial and can. Um, I squared C and spy don't support the, uh, um, the streaming method, but you can also do individual image callbacks to grab images one at a time. Um, so you can actually, using one of these interface call methods, you can actually pass these arguments like this and then get a JPEG image back as the result. Our library supports marshalling data in that format. Um, if you do that though, um, the speed at which it executes is not going to be um, spectacular. So um, just keep that in mind if you try to um, move images one at a time using the RPC library. It's morely meant for um, smaller data transfers that are um, where you have like another system controlling the OpenMV cam asking to do stuff. So for example, if you wanted to have the OpenMV cam uh, detect QR codes and then report that result to another microcontroller, the RPC library makes that trivial now um, over I squared C or SPY or UART or whatever interface you feel like using. Cool. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Bye bye.